Dorklair. Welcome to another Dorklair action figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the Mythic Legion's Vetus from the All-Stars 4 wave. Now I always call him Vitus, but the Four Horsemen did confirm that his name is pronounced Vetus and um, I will probably slip up and call him Vitus at some point in this review, so apologies in advance. But anyway, this figure rocks. It's uh, from the original Kickstarter wave, the original 1.0 Mythic Legions wave. And it kind of was in the running a couple of years in a row for the All-Stars, I believe. I remember voting for it like two years ago, and then I voted for it again this year because it's, you know, it's the earliest Mercurian figure. That's their name for sort of like their Spartan uh, the, or, or their, you know, their race or whatever that wears the Spartan helmets. This figure is pretty basic. As far as Mythic Legions goes, it comes with kind of fewer things than a lot of them, but that makes up for it in character and style. This is just a great one. And all the other Mercurians are, you know, in some ways, extensions of this original figure. They're all repaints of this helmet. So this was the OG, the original Mercurian. I love it. It's great. How do I rank it in the wave? I don't think I put it at the top. I definitely think I put Scaffold at the top. Um, but to be able to fill that gap and finally have all four Mercurians is pretty sweet. I am very happy to add this to my collection. Now let's get into this review. Standard Mythic Legions packaging for Vetus. Um, it's pretty straightforward. I do have an, I actually bought three of these because this is a really good figure for part swapping and kit bashing. Uh, but you can see the bio on the side there. On the back, you have the standard uh, Aerithere Wave packaging. That's sort of like the current packaging. Some information about the Four Horsemen, that wonderful Nate Barch image of, of Aerithere. So good. So awesome. And then you have the Army of Leo Odysseus logo on the other side there. Standard Mythic Legion packaging. Clamshell. Easy to take out, easy to put back in, pretty straightforward stuff. All right, getting a look at the sculpt paint and details. A little close up here of Vetus in his helmet. He's got that Mercurian helmet. All that little scroll work is individually painted. Nice sort of metallic crimson red going on with gold accents. It's a very cool look. And there's actually two different reds. When we get into here, you can see the armor, the main plates of the armor are painted in that metallic red, but then the accents down the middle and like these along the side are a more like a flatter, darker reddish kind of color. So those are different colors there. It's kind of subtle. Like when you look at this figure from far away, you think, oh, it's just sort of all red, but uh, it's a really cool shade. It's a nice sort of crimsony, uh, coppery, uh, I don't know, not rust, but kind of along those same tones. And you have the barbarian style belt there painted in the same kind of kind of way. You have the classic fleshy arms, fleshy legs, <clears throat> really great pieces for, for kit bashing, part swapping, a neck, a flesh neck, just a lot of like nice needed things for kit bashers and stuff. So, you know, pull this apart and you got some really nice parts going on. Um, yeah, I like the details on the belt there. These little buttons or rivets or whatever painted. I don't know how many times I've mentioned this in my videos, but this particular belt has a, um, you know, a storage strap for weapons. And we have this type of um, armored loincloth going on. We have the knight style legs. We have the knight style gauntlets, again, painted in that same style. He's a fairly understated figure. There's not a ton of like flashy paint applications. And it, you know, it does kind of feel like the early figure style. Like if they're lately, there's just a lot of complexity to it, but it's, it does, it works. Like this is a really cool looking figure. I'm pretty thrilled with it. This is my first time having Vetus in hand and, um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I like this figure quite a bit. Next up, let's see how Vetus looks next to a few other action figures. First up, we have a couple 2.0 style figures on that slimmer body. We have the Goblin Noobnik on the left and Gwendolyn Heavensbrand on the right. A couple figures from familiar import lines. On the left, we have the Mafex Dark Knight Returns Batman. On the right, we have the movie realization Boba Fett Samurai version from Tamashi Nations. And here are a couple domestic lines. On the left, we have the Mezco 112 Collective Blood Force Krig. On the right, we have the Super 7 
Skeletor. And of course you knew we were going to have to get all of his fellow Mercurians in the mix. And here is a little interactive for you. I want you to tell me which Mercurian out of these four is your favorite. Starting from the left, we have Romulus. Then the blue one is Pyxis. Of course, we have Vetus. And then on the right, we have Deltagar. Which one of those is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, we'll take a look at his accessories. And here we have his shield that has the army of Leo Odysseus symbol on it. And I mentioned in the last video that I thought that the reissue All-Stars figures came with the original clips. This one did not. I guess they don't. I was probably wrong about that. Um, but it does have the handhold clip that goes on the shield. But there's a look. I love that kind of shield. It's really cool. He's also got this basic broadsword that's got a, a gold handle and the rest is painted silver. And he comes with a spear, the very, very long spear. Um, so pretty minimal in terms of accessories and stuff. He also has, of course, the strap that a lot of the figures come with. And last but not least, let's take a look at the articulation. The head is on a ball joint. This is your standard 1.0 Mythic Legions articulation. The neck also swivels at the base of the neck. Arms are unhindered. They can rotate all the way around. They have a hinge that can swing them up just a little bit past even. Single jointed elbow comes up to about just a little less than 90 degrees. Twist at the gauntlet, hinge at the wrist, which will also spin around. At the waist, there's a ball joint and he can crunch forward, he can crunch back, side to side. Again, standard 1.0 articulation. The 2.0 figures have an upper torso cut as well. The hips can swing way forward, way back. You can twist at the top of the thigh. He can go out into the splits, single jointed knee. There's a twist at the knee. Above the ankle, you can spin the foot. He can point his foot down, point it back up, and then a nice ample ankle rocker. So really nothing too flashy. It's a fairly basic figure in terms of Mythic Legions and kind of what they're doing now, but it is a very welcome reissue. I mean, this figure was probably going for like $200 or something like that before they reissued it for 35 bucks. So I really love the All-Stars. I hope they do another one. I know that um, they got a lot of things lined up. I don't know how soon the next one is going to be. Traditionally, it has been about this time of year. So fingers crossed that they revisit that again this year. But anyway, that's my review. Thanks for watching. And until next time, may the force be with you. Follow me into the door.